you, you know, if you want to change out an established character that has always been played by gorgeous British white men with the, with the purpose of sticking out like a sore thumb in places like India or Monte Carlo or, you know, with, with somebody who looks like a lunch lady, you know, and knock yourself out, knock yourself out. Look how well those sort of, those sort of franchises do when you completely change everything about them, like what, what draws them. Because James Bond is a draw. Lashana Lynch, I'm sure she's a very lovely person, kind of doesn't scream James Bond material to me. She really, really doesn't. When, when I think James Bond, I think, I, I think of like the, the dapper, debonair, gorgeous sort of, like the, the strapping, strapping men, right? And women, and women. You, you think these very high class high intelligent sort of you you don't you don't think of uh, somebody who kind of looks like a lunch lady now i'm not i'm not body shaming i'm not saying she probably is a lovely person she's probably very wonderful i'm just saying if they want her to star in a bond movie and be something like that maybe she needs a spin off instead oh wait look how well something like men in black international did when they tried to give somebody else like this spin off completely changing it even though it originally starred somebody of color Right, that 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 might be, that might not be the best idea. But no, in in my opinion, I know you guys wanted me to talk about this, and I know Rob from Night's Edge is going to do a rant on this because he's the Bond expert. I'm the person who who's seen a lot of them. I don't have a huge investment. They're they're kind of just fun movies that'll be on, and I might watch one or two here and there. Liked Casino Royale. Don't like a lot of modern Hollywood movies too much because they pull a lot of crap with the audience. And this one, this is what it seems to be happening for for me here. It seems like this movie keeps having um, the, the universe coming up with all these ways to get this movie canceled. And now this is studio execs desperately trying to get this movie marketed and to, to not be a huge flop. We know we've had injuries on set. We've had cast members dropping out. We've had just so much happen with this movie, inclu including what? What people people like what? Phoebe Waller, whatever the hell her name is. Phoebe Waller Bridge. Isn't isn't this one? Isn't this the one who is leet that leet bot? Now I gotta look her up. Wasn't she L three three seven? Yeah, she was. Oh, she was L three three seven. SJW bot three thousand in Han Solo, a Star Wars story. Solo who was cucked in his own movie by George Lives Matter. Uh huh. Uh huh. So. <laughs> Oh, have fun with this one. Have fun with this one. The, that woman has been trying to include social politics into this movie. It's a Bond movie. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? This is this is my problem. They keep trying to change James Bond, right? James Bond is a, a he's supposed to be. And, and this is what I hated about Daniel Craig's James Bond. I call him Ugly Bond. I don't find him attractive. I need to find James Bond attractive. I want to want to sleep with James Bond. You know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to be like, you, you didn't give me enough chicken nuggets, or you didn't give my kid enough chicken nuggets, Jane Bond, right? I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. <laughs> like, seriously, seriously. She, she looks like she would be writing me a ticket for parking, for a parking violation, not a spy in Monte Carlo. All right, all right. Do, do you understand that? She doesn't look like she's going to be at a Baccarat table. She, she, you know, she, she doesn't look like... She, and, and I know that they're not supposed to be like... They're not supposed to be the same character. I get it. I get it. We kind of we, we kind of know that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it, the TMZ article. Let's see what they have to say. And my sixth special agent, 007, is getting new face and apparently a new gender too because they can't just make a new franchise, can they? No, they can't. They have to ruin the existing fran... That, like, th th this is the biggest problem. They have to keep coming back to the same five franchises and changing them for modern audiences instead of, I don't know, hiring people who are actually out there making something that they want. Something new, some new franchise. No, because where's all our new entertainment coming from? It's coming from YouTubers. This is why YouTubers are getting so many death threats, and this is why YouTubers are getting so much attention, and this is why comics gay comic books are selling millions of, co of dollars of copies total, right? Be because we don't want what you're shoveling. Hollywood, comic books, inter inter you know, the entertainment industry. We don't want your crap, okay? This is why everything's failing. This is why you're trying to appeal to this new woke audience that doesn't exist. 
because you don't know what else to do. So no, you got to go and trash our existing franchises. So that, that so let, let's let's call them on their crap, right? She's reportedly just set to take on the mantle in the upcoming Bond flick, according to multiple outlets in the UK. Captain Marvel star, who played Brie Larson's uh, p uh, token, token black friend, instead of, you know, giving it to, you know, making the character Monica Rambeau. That's another, that's another uh, hypocritical Hollywood sort of thing. I need, I need a whole series. Hypocritical Hollywood is going to be a new series on my channel, I think, where instead of, instead of focusing on beloved Monica Rambeau, a woman of color for their Captain Marvel franchise. No, they had to go and, and bring up Carol, pain in the ass, a stick, no personality, no motion, Danvers, that nobody wanted, with the whitest of white actors ever, might I add. Thank you very much. But no, they, they love representation and equality, except sometimes when they don't. According to multiple outlets... <laughs> She will now become the new 007 in what's being described as a popcorn dropping moment. No, not if you're not if you're going out of your way to market it to us. You know, if it was really going to be that big of a deal, you would have waited until the movie came out and let people go, oh my god, they did they, oh my god, look what they did. No, no, no. You're just doing it for virtue signaling. You're doing it because you don't have anything else to talk about with this movie. And you don't have a story. You just have a, hey, what if we did this for attention? This is, this is the equivalent. Th this is, this is Phoebe Waller. What's her, what's her nuts is equivalent. Where's her IMDB? I totally lost her. I've got 57 tabs open. This, this is a Phoebe Waller, whatever is attempt at being, hey, look at me. I need attention. Hey, mom, 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 look at me. Look at me. I need attention. Look at me. Let's make, let's make James Bond black. Let's make her a black woman. Look at me. I need attention. Yeah, here, here, wear a low-cut shirt. You might get a little more attention, Phoebe. <clears throat> Reports say that Dale Craig, who's still the same old James Bond we know and love, is brought back from retirement at one point in the movie and introduced to Lashana's character, who's inherited his old code name. Supposedly, she keeps it, too. Well, then, you just want to kill your franchise, don't you? You just want James Bond to die because you're going to piss off a lot of old James Bond fans who want tradition. You know, this is new Coke versus Coke classic. This has nothing to do with your stupid virtue signaling. This has nothing to do with your stupid wokeness or your political correct bullshit. This has everything to do with the fact that you don't have anything else to say and you just want the attention and the virtue signaling. Do you understand me, Hollywood? And, you know, the UK apparently now. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, do you understand me? As a robot, you do not represent me. And I'm very offended by your portrayal of us cybernetic Americans in the solo Star Wars story. So I don't want anything to do with your woke Bond, your stupid little James Bond that you're only doing this. You don't care about African-American representation. You don't care about black British women representation. You just want this for attention. That's the only reason why you're doing this. Because it really wouldn't, it wouldn't matter to the story. I'm sure it doesn't matter to the story. It is hot guy goes, goes around, kills people. That's it. Drives fast cars. That is James Bond. Oh, and sleeps with a bunch of hot women. That is James Bond. Don't change it. Don't change it. It's not, it's not for you. It's not for you. All right. It's not for woke Hollywood. It's not for your little woke Hollywood audience. Considering all the issues that have plagued the production this far, from this and this to a pivotal, strong black female lead. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, write, write, write me a ticket meter maid, why don't you? Lashana plays an agent named Nomi in the movie. We can hear the new tagline now. The name's Nomi. Just Nomi. <sighs> Thank you for subscribing. I left my notifications on accidentally. Tell me what you guys think. I've ranted about about this long enough. I think I've ranted about this long enough. I when I when I think of Bond or or spies or any of that, like like I said, I, I you know, like I said, this this bitch, mm -mm. you should be writing characters who look like this and act like this. And like this, this is James Bond to people. It's tradition. Why would you go against tradition? Why would you go against tradition? 
Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am Mecca Random 42 and I will be doing a 40k celebration real soon. I don't know if it's going to be today or, or Monday. You know what? We might as well do it today. It's Sunday. We might as well do a 40k celebration. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to all the Brie bots who pushed me over the edge to get the, the you know, and sending all the death threats to, to make sure that people know about my channel. I really appreciate all the attention. I really, really do. Hey, lemons lemonade, right? And I will see you guys on the next video, live stream or wherever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.